Welcome to the Business Blast Podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. This episode is brought to you by Authors Unite. Authors Unite provides you with the support you need to finish your book. Best part is, after you finish your book, they take care of the entire publishing and marketing process 100% for you. So, if you want to become a successful author, make sure to check out AuthorsUnite.com. Now, let's jump into the episode. All right, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Business Blast podcast. I'm your host, Tyler Wagner. Uh, today, I have Trish Springsteen with us. She is Australia's leading expert in empowering introverts, international best-selling author, multi-international award winner, speaker, and mentor. Trish believes in you until you believe in yourself, making speaking easy. So welcome to the show. Thank you, Tyler. Delighted to be here. Of course. And we're uh, delighted to have you here. Um, So let's dive into the first one. The first one I got for you is what is the best story from your life that has an underlying valuable message? Well, Tyler, I started my life very much an introvert and on top of that, extremely shy. Now, I'm still an introvert, but I'm not so shy. And along the way, there's been a variety of challenges that have helped me to step forward and realise what I believe in now, that speaking communication underpins everything you do. And if you get some good speaking skills, it allows you to grab opportunities. Now, one of the things that I realise very much is that when I started my speaking journey, I looked back, there were a lot of opportunities that I missed because speaking gives you that confidence, that that confidence to to reach out and grab those opportunities. It it gives you that start in believing in yourself. Now, I came from a family that was very supportive and they would say, you can do anything you want to do, anything you like, you know, and, and that's really great. But there were only words and those words were just words until on my speaking journey, I got the confidence to realise who I was and I accepted who I was. I realised I was missing opportunities. I was able to grab opportunities. And those words became real when I believed in myself. And I think that's the thing I'd like people to take away is when you believe in yourself, you can do anything. If you want to be able to grab all those opportunities, even if it's just to go up and speak to, just go up and speak to your teacher about your child or just to be able to stand up in a, in a meeting and say who you are, speaking will do that. And one of those things that it has given me is the opportunity to, I'll just share a very quick story of how I realised a lot of that. We lost our son, Craig, to suicide in 2007, mm-hmm. and that's not something I want, like any one of your listeners, to go through. But I had to deliver the eulogy at that funeral, and that's not an easy thing to do. You've only got one chance. Uh, to do do testament and I did do that and it wasn't too many months later that my aha moment was it was actually my speaking skills and my confidence my belief in myself that got me through that now I don't ever want anyone to have the same thing but there are crisis situations in your life and if you believe in yourself wholeheartedly and you add some speaking skills that give you that confidence, then you've got a probably a better way of getting through those crisis situations and communicating what you need to at that time. Uh, very sorry to hear that. And thank you so much for sharing that with us. Um, yeah, the, uh, the next one I have for you is what is the most valuable piece of information we should know that's within your expertise or industry? Um, this one this is a great question because the, uh, and it's really hard to, to break down because there's lots of information. But purely and simply, one of the things I share with my mentor clients and that is that I, I call it 60 seconds of insane courage. All you need to do is grab 60 seconds of insane courage and step up and share your message. Um, everybody in business, everybody who is in a career, uh, everybody's got a book an app, a product or a service to sell, there is one thing that you absolutely need before you can do anything. And from my perspective, that one thing is clients. You need people to talk to, people to sell, people to buy your book. Uh, 
you need in a career to be able to communicate with other people so that you can go forward in your career. So my view is that that's why you need speaking communication and that's why if you get those skills and then take 60 seconds of insane courage and just step up and shine that light, let people find you. Don't make it hard for people to find you in business. Um, you know, make it easy for them to get your book, to get your service, to get your app, to buy your product, to connect with you. So step up and shine that light and let people see who you are. And um, what is your best piece of overall business advice? So not necessarily industry specific. It could tie in. Uh, I think my best piece of business advice is know what you're wanting to do. Know who your market is. And you will have heard this. And I know many people will say this. You must know your niche. You must know your market. And it really is the foundation. It's the same thing I talk about in speaking. You've got to know who your audience is. And you've got to know what you want to do with those people, with that audience and, and the goals and where you want to take it. And lastly, believe in yourself. Really believe and own your message, your product, your service. You started your business for a reason. You got that product for a reason. You're doing that service for a reason. Own it. Believe in it. Because when you do that, everything else will come from there. And if you could give your younger self one piece of advice, what would that be? Get speaking and communication skills early. Uh, and I'm not the only person to say that. Warren Buffett has said that uh, quite a bit, a few times, and I've seen where he spoke to some of your university students at one stage, or college students, I think you call them. Yeah. And it is true. You get some good speaking communication skills. That really gives you the confidence to grab opportunities, to go into interviews and sell yourself at an interview, to connect with your peers, to connect with your team, uh, to go into a boardroom. Get those skills and own them. And in your opinion, what is the key to happiness? Don't hold grudges. Don't hold grudges. Each day is a new day and we don't know what is going to happen in that day. You don't know what's going to happen when you wake up. You go to bed one night and you wake up in the morning, um, things have changed. You, you wake up in that day and by the time you go to bed that night, things have changed. Yeah, look, people have arguments and that's life. But if you communicate and if you don't hold those grudges, just communicate, get off the chest what, what's not happy going on and then just start each day new um, and share, believe in each other. Um, that's, to me, the key to happiness. And what is the best book that you've read and what was the number one thing you learned from that? So Richard Branson's Like a Virgin, Secrets They Won't Teach You at Business School. It's a pretty good book. I've got it sitting in front of me right now, actually. And it's one of the few books that I've got lots of little sticky tabs sticking out of because there's a lot of information in there that spoke and resonated with me on communication, speaking and leadership. And uh, he's an introvert and I'm an introvert. And I look at what he says and how he says, and underpinning everything he does is communication. He, he speaks with people. He invites people to share. Uh, and that just resonates with me. I think I can't say more. I mean, I've spoken a lot about speaking communication the last while we've been here, but it is to me vitally important. And that book really resonates with me. And what is your favorite quote and why? Okay. My favorite quote is from Benjamin Me. We bought a zoo. It's a movie. And it says, sometimes all you need is just 20 seconds of insane courage. Just literally 20 seconds of embarrassing bravery and I promise you something great will come from it. And that's basically where I got my 60 seconds of insane courage for people to step up and speak, to say who they are, to start that book, to go into an interview, to start that communication with somebody if they want to build a relationship, to be on a podcast, to answer a journalist's inquiry. Um, to me... That, that just literally boosted where I felt that I was going and what I feel I can give to my people because it is you get that 60 seconds of insane courage and as, as the quote says, something awesome will happen. Something pretty awesome will happen. 
I love that. Thank you so much for coming on. The last one I have for you before we let you go is where is the best place for people to find you online? You can find me on Facebook. I have uh, the Facebook pages uh, under Trish Springsteen, and you can find me on LinkedIn if you put Trish Springsteen, and I'll connect with you on LinkedIn. Perfect. Thanks again for jumping on. Thank you very much. The podcast you just heard was published with Anchor. Got something you want to say to the creator of this show? Send them a voice message using the Anchor app, free for iOS and Android.